So we have Izzy and Chris here to chat a little bit about the album, which was just released Friday? Yep. Yeah, two days yeah. ago. How, must be like an absolute whirlwind. Yeah, that's right. It's been a bit of a blur. Yeah, honest. yeah. It's been yeah. constantly on tour for about three days ever since. It Whoa, we've been on tour for like three days. Oh, it's like mad. It's for this is the first time we've ever done more than one show in a day. We've done like two or three shows every day, and it kind of goes from one to the other. I think it still days. feels like it's happening to somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. Well. So, yeah. so much of your career as a band has gone into this, leading up to this. And Absolutely. it's really inspiring as a band that you have total creative control over your image, music. How does that feel now with the record, like being out just to be a band that does that in an era where... I don't know what it feels like. like to not be mm. in control of it. So it's hard to say, but I think if for us, like, having a record out that that we are so proud of like we spend so long mm. making and this is just the tip of the iceberg for us you know we've got so much more to come we've got we're going to tour the world next year like it, it feels like a real starting block mm. yeah and you said that in the show as well yeah and the fans were so like amazing yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah this week's been quite overwhelming because yeah, yeah. we've been locked away in the studio for about six months just making mm. this record and then you, when you're making it, you listen to it on repeat and just almost get numb to it and almost get a bit sick of it. And then you kind of you kind of switch off to the outside world and you're in a little bubble. And then as soon as you come out into the real world with it, it's like you see how much it means to all these people that you've never met before. And it really yeah, they already heard the whole record, didn't they? Yeah, it's the kind of, you world. see it on the, on the shelf and you're like, that's meant to be secret. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's mad that people yeah. have heard it. They were all singing, they knew all the lyrics. Yeah, so like we're catching up with them now. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> wow. So obviously what you're doing, it's having such an impact and your image is so striking. So how important are the visuals to the band? I mean, my God, look at these pants <laughs> and this jacket. <laughs> it's like, I want to ask you where you go shopping. Um, <laughs> it's so great. Um, so visuals, I think, are like so important to a band but I think that like it starts and ends with the songs mm. you got shit songs then having all the sassy style in the world is not going to get you anywhere yeah but also any leads with that so like I like these ones because they're like disco trousers because we made this this record and then yeah. we made it like disco as well yeah that's yeah, so cool because mm -hmm. it for us it references like sort of disco music yeah amazing so all of this this to me is telling the same story as this and mm. as this is telling through the song that we wrote and then the video we, we did a dance routine as well yeah yeah the video is amazing and like the visuals and the music videos are so striking Pretty. as well so it's like this whole you know performance the, the imagery on the albums the photography yeah it's all really important that it yeah. all ties in like red and blue yeah striking colors yeah so who would you say are some of your inspirations then for what you're doing um, artistically, yeah. uh, Alex Praga. Okay. Um, she's really cool. Yeah. Um, Nadia Lee Cohen. Mm -hmm. We work with her quite a lot. Mm -hmm. She's um, she's great. I love all the stuff that she does. Yeah. Um, Tarantino, Wes oh, Anderson. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Love Andy Warhol. I think the front, the album front cover is is mainly like a, a Warhol thing. People think it's it's Rolling Stones, but. <laughs> to me, it's, it's Velvet Underground or like an 80s porno or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely got that vibe from your videos. And even in the songs as well, it feels like sort of late night club, mm. like the femme fatale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like yeah. like a story from a Tarantino movie is what, like, I, I like to call ourselves like a Tarantino rock and roll band. Like, that's our genre. That's a, yeah, point that's out. amazing. It's like <laughs> cinematic rock and roll. Yeah. That's great. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, like something like, I feel like I'm surrounded by black velvet at like three in the morning. Yeah, perfect. That's it. We, we want to drink a weird cocktail. Drink a weird yeah. cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> drink a weird cocktail. Watching a murder. Yeah. I think David if, Lynch, love it. If we can, if we can make the soundtrack to your life, that's that's <laughs> we're, mission we're, accomplished. We're doing your weirdest shit. Like that's right, it. If you could, yeah, you go on a fucking weird night out. Yeah. Sorry for my French. Um, then we'll be your soundtrack. Yeah, amazing. amazing. When you're eating your cheeseburger at the end of the night, with the drinking money. And then you're walking home at six in the morning and everybody's looking at you like you're a piece of dirt. Yeah. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> so okay, musically, what would you say are some of your influences, the bands that help to create 
keep you know um well i think that there was a few like a lot of it is still cinema so like a lot of it's like trying to the blueprint is like you know that feeling when you're on the bus and you, you put music on and you feel bummed out or something and mm. and listening to music turns it all into something like more cinematic or more beautiful so so that's kind of the underlying thing but blondie is to be like listing a bit like it'll be like blondie the strokes mm. the beatles um elvis um like all of the like baddest bitches ever like runaways and bowie and a lot of retro pop to be honest with you i think that's like a big big thing for us so we spent a long time listening to like craft work and Oh, and like and like old psych rock like we're 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 a psych rock band at heart like that's like this is what happens if a psych rock band writes a pop record that's yeah. what's that's what's interesting about it hmm. it's not like it's not like we're we're pop people like we're we're like from a world with we only just listen to grunge and and that kind of thing. we grew up on on like the pixies and mm. Nirvana it's just, a, it's just a cocktail of everything we've grown up on. Yeah. I felt like we could hear a bit of the breeders as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're amazing. S strong women in rock. Yeah, for sure. Um, and we were talking a bit earlier about fans and how the fans are so connected. Do you have any favourite fan stories? Like, Well, from this tour, we had this little girl that, like, wrote this letter. and She just said it so eloquently. She's, like, 14 years old. and She said that that black honey makes her feel like she's allowed to be herself mm. and i think that that just really touched me because I, I as someone that has always been an outsider that and and i i know i wanted a i wanted someone i could look to and think oh you can be fucking weird and it's all right yeah i think that being able to give that back to Teenagers is so insane. Mm. Like that's like more rewarding than than any festival headline show you get is when you really have this amazing, really like like li almost life changing reaction yeah. from people. It's yeah. overwhelming, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost as inspiring to us as I think. See what you have to them. It's, it's, it goes yeah. back around. It's like back again. Like how we've been locked in our own bubble for so long. Now we're coming out and but. You know, we're showing ourselves on our album to the world. It's like seeing how much that means to people. It makes everything worth it. It's insane. One kid was like, yes, or today, or this morning. Or this morning. Yeah, she said um, the um, teenager like got her through like her like GCSEs. That's mm. one of our songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's like fucking awesome. You know? Yeah, that's what we do this shit for. Yeah, and you, you've got so many great shows coming up. So there's the one in Manchester. Yeah, on the 21st of October at the... O2 Academy. O2 Academy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's the closest one to Liverpool anyway. And we'll also be headlining the Electric Ballroom on the 24th of yeah. October. In London. Yeah, doing our biggest headline show. Oh. Okay, so if you had to choose, each of you, a favourite song from your record, but also your favourite song of all time from the artist, what would it be? Oh, it's so hard. Time song How long have we got? The first question. <laughs> the fun ending question is the hardest question of all do time. The, do the one from our record. Let's do the one from your record. Okay. Yeah. And if another one comes to mind, you want to share it. Okay. And so I'll, I'll put you on the back. So yeah. this is our record and my favourite song at the moment is Just Calling. I like it because it is a really understated underdog of the album. Mm. It's a sort of a driving soundtrack, a bit 80s, it's almost like, yeah. um, kind of, like the lyrics like, I'm just calling you up, I'm calling to say how does it feel, no, I'm not around. And I, I just like how conversational it is. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, it's, it's the perfect nighttime driving song, isn't it? Mm. Um, mine changes all the time. It's really Show nice. Camera, I think, I think I'm going to go for, at the moment, I'm really into Into the Nightmare, mm. which is a song that we co-wrote with Royal Blood. Um, and it's just really fun. It's a bit schizophrenic, it's really cool. Mm. It's quite you can floaty, do a good cabaret heavy, dance like, to that one. Yeah. And it was a lot, a lot of fun doing it with Mike as well, because he, he's, he's mentally good at the piano. Mm. Like, he's like better than the piano than he is at the bass. And then he came into the studio and we all jammed it live, and he was on the piano and singing backing vocals. It's just really fun to do. So that was, that was really cool. Amazing. 
Did we have a favourite song? <laughs> we don't have to put this in. Favourite song of all time. God only knows. Uh, I can't argue with that. Okay. God, God only knows. Yeah. What I'd be yeah. without you. Yeah. Perfect. We're Instagram. Black Honey. This is our debut album. Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Black Honey UK. Follow us. Subscribe. What else do people do on blog things? Buy the album. album. Comment. Like, the album. Leave positive, beautiful messages with emojis and send us emojis. Yes. And buy this record. Thank you. Thank you. Wait. Cut. <laughs>